guys, this is Jen from Ain and Such and Such and Be Scented Fragrance Oil Supply. We are doing a monthly soaping challenge. We're really excited to get this started. We were planning on doing it about six months ago and we just got lost in the new website and we didn't have time to start it. So we're just now getting around to starting our monthly soaping challenges. Um, this one is gonna is our first, of course. Um, I will put the details to the soaping the challenge in the description box below. And also, if you're a member of our Facebook Be Scented group, uh, the details are posted in that group too for the challenge. Um, this one, our first one, is going to be the drop swirl. Uh, it, to me, it's a fairly easy design. Uh, anybody can do it. Um, and it, it's not that you have to make the soap now. Uh, if you have made the soap previously and you really liked how it turned out, then you can use that soap picture. Um, or if you, not that it doesn't have a great excuse for us to make soap, uh, you know, for the challenge, but um, if you wanna make another soap, you know, to try to do better or, you know, maybe you didn't like the last one you did and you want to do something different then you can do a new soap after um, you know this video and um, we're gonna have I think there is a total of four I think there's four prizes first prize winner or grand prize winner will win a $100 gift certificate to be scented I mean come on second prize will win $50 gift certificate, third prize is $30 gift certificate, and then we will have a, um, what we call the teacher's pet. I will pick one that I really like, and that person will win a $50 gift certificate to be scented. So we will have four great prizes. There will be no minimum purchase necessary. Um, uh, that will be waived. Um, if you order, make an order, and it's over what your uh, gift certificate is for, then you're responsible for the rest. Um, but it can be used, you know, for your shipping cost. Like uh, if you won the $50 gift certificate and you place an order for $40, then $10 will go towards uh, your shipping. If there's any additional shipping cost or whatnot, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So, without further ado, let's get this soap made. I'm going to turn you guys down to my soaping area. Okay. I'm actually probably going to zoom out some. Not in, out. Um, because I'm hoping, is everything in there? Let's see. We got it all. I think we do. Okay. So, in here is a recipe. I will also have a recipe in the description box below that you're more than welcome to use. Um, I'm actually doing our five pound mold. You can make a small or as large batch of soap as you want. Totally up to you. I'm doing a five pound batch just because I need to restock this scent. And I thought, what a better way than to represent and do this soaping contest than with this soap. So, I'm doing a Blue Hawaiian, uh, the fragrance you can find on Be Scented. And I'm going to do three shades of blue and white. Uh, the majority of my uh, batter is going to be a pale blue. Then I'm going to have a dark blue a medium shade of blue, and just a hint of white. Uh, I don't want a lot of white in the recipe, or not in the recipe, in the final soap. And then we're gonna do a drop swirl. My additives are in here, my oats and my clay and my goat milk powder. We're already in here, let me get my lye. I just did a video on my soaping area, um, you know, where I soap my kitchen, because I've had several requests for that. So I got that video, whoops, made. 
and I actually don't have my stick blender plugged in. Silly me. So let's get that done. and add my cream mixture in here. Well, not mixture, it's just heavy whipping cream. I've showed that to you guys several times in other videos, what I use. Get that blended in. Get all this blended really good before you add your lye. That way, you can blend and mix as much as you want. Okay, in with our life solution. I don't need to strain it this time, it's pretty good. Have very, very tiny amount of live lint, not enough to concern me. When I get it like a crust over the top, then yeah, I strain it. Now, I'm just going to emulsify this, which means I'm just going to mix the lye and the oils together. I'm not going to really bring this to trace, just emulsification. This takes a few, few little bursts, and actually, that is it. It is emulsified. So, I'm going to uh, add in my fragrance. If you are unsure of your fragrance you're using, you're more than welcome to uh, add your fragrance after you color your soap. I'm going to hand stir most of this. I may do a quick little buzz, I'm not really sure, because you know I'm going to stir in my colors and you don't want to over mix your soap. Um, with a drop swirl, you kind of want it a little runny. Um, you don't want it super thick. So, that's all we're going to do for now. We're going to split this off to do our colors. Now, this is my little one for my white, my dark blue, and my medium shade of blue. Probably don't have those in the camera very well. I'm sorry, I'll scoot back here in just a second. Now, I don't want a ton of white. Just, just a very accent of white. Okay, is that good? Is that what I want? Maybe just a smidgen more of these two. So, we're going to start with our white. Sort of want to start with your lightest color and then work your way up. Can I tell you something? What? I'm doing well when you're done. I'll see. Um, if you do have a play in the front yard, mm -hmm. we'll tell you to play in the building. Um, I think we're going to do it in the building because those chairs we don't sit in. Yeah. And the first time, I'm getting out that glass. Um, do you know that glass in the building I come down to Walmart? I'm actually going to take my I'm dark. Going, um, first time, we like, like, that's all right. Add just a little bit of my dark and some white. I'm tired, guys. Me and Mommy are making soap. And what is it called? Uh, this is Blue Hawaiian. Blue Hawaiian. I want to, I want to tell them. I want to tell them. Go ahead and tell them and then go play, please. Hi guys, I'll stay here and make something. And Pussy's laying on it. They're like, look, make something. That'd be tight. Please. Okay. 
Okay. We 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 were Pixie went out on his back deck all night, and I pooped my pants. I poop. I pooped my pants because. Okay, actually, um, I want to add another blue to that. So this is my lighter blue. I'm going to add a little bit in there and hand stir it because that one's just a mica. And we've already blended in the titanium dioxide. So this should stir in. That's better. Okay. Okay, that one is good. So we'll set it off to the side. Let's go ahead and get our this blue in here. Very pretty. Okay, and lastly, we'll get our darker blue. I did pre mix these colors and a little bit of my uh, rice bran oil because I use rice bran in my batches. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Add the rest of that in there. Just to make it easier um, to mix in my colors, I used about um, a teaspoon of color in each little container. And let's just go ahead and give our white a little stir. It sets up a little bit faster. And get this party going. So let's get our mold in the camera view here. We're going to pour a little base layer of our main color. And then you want to alternate your other colors. Do it however you want. Now, with the drop swirl, I don't like to pour it from very high. Uh, just enough to get it to drop down in there. You may have to adjust how high you're pouring. You don't want to pour thick amount, just a thin stream. And I just go up and down the mold. I don't necessarily pour in the exact same spot as the other color, you know, I just pour it in. Oh, my white is setting up, hoping it pours and not plops. It may be a plopper. That's alright. My white did not do as well, but you know, it's alright. up just a little bit higher because it's not wanting to break through very much. It's 
not the easiest. But that's the fun of this uh, design. It's not, doesn't have to be perfect. Just like my white here, obviously. I'll save the rest to go on the top. Probably get another go around with each other color and then call it done. Okay, now the rest, we shall design our top. Give your mold a little smack. Okay, now, since the white is the thickest, I'll go ahead and drop that around. Get that on there. Scrappy containers out good. You want all the goodies out of there. That's the fun of a soaping challenge. You don't have to be perfect. Uh, it's fun. It challenge yourself. To do something maybe you've never tried before or you're nervous um, there is a uh, I don't think I mentioned it there's a five dollar entry fee that'll go towards you know the prizes that way we can give out all these great prizes for everybody And like I said, the details are in the descri description box below. Uh, it is open today. As when you see this video, uh, the challenge is open. Like I said, if you have already made a soap like this, uh, you're more than welcome to use it. Uh, in the challenge, you don't have to make a, another batch. But if you want to try a new one, you're more than welcome to do that. We want to make this as easy and painless as possible for newer soapers and uh, soapers that are seasoned. In the description box where I'll have all the information and explain to you exactly what you need to do to be able to enter the challenge it will be open for uh, three weeks the last week uh, it will allow us to get the photos uploaded to the group and um, let people vote to, to declare the winner and then that way by the time that is done and over with it will be time for the next challenge 
We're hoping to hold these every month, the Lord willing, that we get it all. I'm going to do a little um, swirl on the top with my chopstick. Why do you have that? Oh, sorry, Pixie. And let's do a little bit of glitter. You know, why not? Clean up the sides of my mold here. Here we go. And there's something right there on my soap I need to get out. It's a piece of my stick. Let's get us some blue glitter. Do the top and some blue glitter. Let's go with our blue Hawaiian theme. Alright guys, I'll bring you guys back for the cutting. Okay guys, we are back to cut our challenge soap. Here's my top and the side. I had a little bit of trouble unmolding on my corner. Let's see if I can get it in the picture. There it is. Not too bad. So let's get this on this cutter here and we'll give this soap a cut and see how this drop swirl turned out. Oh, yay. Isn't, oh, hello. Isn't that pretty? I'm loving the different colors and it is beautiful. Sorry, I'm just adjusting the camera some. Um, the swirl's really pretty. Oh yay! Beautiful drop swirl. I'm loving it. Turned out exactly how I was wanting. Well, my white wasn't as fluid as I would have liked. But that's okay. It turned out pretty neat. Really liking it. And it smells fabulous. Pixie. Oh yay. Look at that. I love how the white is on the outside of that one. Look at that. Gorgeous. Would have turned out even better if I would have gotten the uh, white. If it would have been a little bit thinner on me. That's okay. Beautiful bar. That's a beautiful bar. See, you get such beautiful designs with a drop swirl. This is one of my favorite designs in soap. Every bar is different and unique. I really hope you guys participate and uh, join. Uh, I, I will have all of the information in the Dropbox or in the description of the video. Um, it's very easy to enter. All you do is send in your registration fee uh, to the email address. And once you do, you either make your soap. Uh, registration will be open for about three weeks. Um, I will actually have the cutoff date in the description, what time registration ends. 
and then you have until uh, until the end of uh, after registration ends, you'll have 48 hours, I think is what we have on there, to enter the photos. If you have not already entered your photos, you can enter your photos at any time. All you have to do is send the, the photo in the email. So some people, if you've already made this kind of soap, you can do your registration, send, let us know, you know, send us a photo of your soap and you're done. Uh, if you want to make it, you have three weeks, so it's not a big rush to get it made. You've got the time. And we'll see what everybody comes up with in this design. We'll have the four good size winners. $100, $75, or is it, crap, I have it written down. Exactly. A hundred dollars, fifty dollars, thirty dollars uh, for first, second, and third place. And then we have another fifty dollar winner for teacher's pet. Or editor's choice, however you want to say it. I get to pick one. And that person that I pick will win fifty dollars. Gift certificate ought to be scented. So, it's very easy uh, to enter, you know, five dollars gets you in a chance to win uh, any number of those prizes so you have very good odds so don't forget in the description box below under the name of the video uh, where it says thank you all for watching to join my group blah -de blah -de blah hit that more button to read more and uh, It'll give you all the information you need in order to enter in this month's Soaping Challenge. Thank you very much, and until next time, bye-bye.